Hello everybody, my name is Rolak and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, it disconnected the controls. Alright. In the last episode, we caught a bunch of different legendaries, all fairly simple in their own ways. Well, I mean Holo was kind of a pain in the ass to catch, but the others were not all that bad. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a bit of exploring, not particularly catching anything. However, we are going to be taking a look at what's new in the Safari Zone. We're waiting for you. Have an epiphany, a new attraction. I've decided to call it Object Arrangement. This is going to be fun. You can place objects on the field as you play at the Safari Zone. Not only that, but the types of Pokemon you will see will change depending on the types of objects you place. This is it amazing? I will call you using the Pokegear if something else comes up. I'll explain Object Arrangement. Would you like to know anything? Um, I'm pretty sure I can explain it, no problem. Alright, so, uh, over the course of the game, after the post game, you might have noticed Baoba calling us every now and then, uh, stating that there's, like, some kind of new thing for us to do. That is Object Arranger. Now, if I believe... How exactly do I go about Object Arrangement, actually? Yeah, um... Arranging objects? You can place an object, all you have to do is make sure that the spot in front of you is clear. Much large man. Um... Yeah, how do I do it? <laughs> um, I think we have to go actually into... Hang on, let me see. Because I am i haven't done this in like forever because I really don't care about this fire zone all that much in this game. Now I believe, yes, we can just place an object straight on the ground. Uh, there are a bunch of different objects that we can place uh, depending on the size and the location. Um, depends on what we can put in the area, such as a statue. <laughs> there we go. Now, depending on what you put on in the zones will differ as to what Pokemon can appear. Now then, uh, there are quite a bunch of different Pokemon that can appear in the Safari Zone, and I am going to list them off all right now. <laughs> all right, let us begin. <clears throat> If you're using the peak, you're going to find a Fearow, Paris, Geodude, Graveler, Slowbro, Magnemite, Magnemite, Magneton, Magmar, Wobbuffet, Linoon, Vigoraf, Laron, Zangoose, Feel, and Bronzor. If you're in the desert, you're going to be finding a Fearow, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Cubone, Marowak, Lotad, Spinda, Trapinch, Vibrava, Cacnea, Cacturn, Hippitas, and Carnivine. If you're in the plains, you're going to be finding Gortata, Radicate, Abra, Ponyta, Girafferig, Houndoom, Stantler, Smeargle, Zigzagoon, Lotad, Surskit, Manatrix, Zangoose, and Shinx. If you're in the meadow, you're going to be encountering, excuse me, you're going to be encountering Radicate, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Geodude, Chansey, Magikarp, Gyarados, Meryl, Hoppip, Skibloom, Sunkern, Wooper, Seedot, Nuzleaf, Masquerin, Nosepass, Riolu. If you're in the forest, you're going to be finding a Pidgey, Bellsprout, Ghastly, Haunter, Lickitung, Mr. Mime, Elichabuzz, Mischievous, Surskit, Shuppet, Beldum, Bidoof, Budu, and Bronzong. In the swamp, you're going to be finding a Jigglypuff, Paras, Parasect, Weeping Bell, Drowsy, Hypno, Voltorb, Goldeen, Sea King, Magikarp, Dratini, Dra Dragonair, Sentret, Furret, Murkrow, Duskull, Chimeco. Bangon, Patrisu, and Floatzale. If you're in Marshland, you're going to be finding an Ekans, Arbok, Oddish, Gloom, Diglett, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Grimer, Muck, Coughing, Weezing, Magikarp, Gyarados, Scratch, Jumpluff, Wooper, Quagsire, Shuckle, Roselia, Survivor, Barboach, Baynet, Krogunk, Carnivine. Why are there so many in that one? If you're in the mountain, you're going to be finding Rattata, Eradicate, Zubat, Golbat, Magneton, Krabby, Ligtong, Larvitar, Meditite, Volbeat, Lunatone, Dusclops, Celio, Metang, Chingling. Oh my god, how many are left? <laughs> Rocky Rocky Beach, Zubat, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Slow, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Doduo, Dodrio, Krabby, Kingler, Goldeen, Sea King, Magikarp, Lapras, Mareep, Aeron, Electric, Mainetric, Corfish, Badoo, and Gibble. If you're in the Wasteland, you're going to be finding Fearow, Golduck, Machop, Machoke, Bellsprout, Magnemite, Magnemite Onyx, Kingler, Kangaskhan, Breloom, Metajam, Mainetric, Illumise, Solrock, and Scorby. Yes, I would like to leave. Savannah! <laughs> Nidoran male, Nidorina, Nidoran, Nidoran female, Nidorina, Nidoran male, Nidorino, Zubat, Golbat, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Tauros, Houndu, Houndour, Zigzagoon, Shroomus, Azuril, Torkoal, Cacturn, Luxio. <sighs> Are we almost done? <laughs> Wetland. Spiro, <laughs> shut up Billy, not now. <laughs> Spiro, Psyduck, Golduck, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Farfetch, Doduo, Magikarp, Magikarp, Gyarados, Ditto, Sentret, Furret, Wooper, Quaxar, Lombre, Surskit, Corfish, Shellgun, Petrizip, Weasel. Holy shit, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's all the Pokemon you can find here. Uh, depending on what you place down, um, a lot of it will change about. I'm not too sure how much it will change, but it will change. Anyway, that's the Safari Zone, and as to what we can do, good lord, that took five minutes to go over everything. All right, so uh, the main takeaway from this episode is that, considering that we have Rock Climb, and we never really used Rock Climb 
you know, outside of, like, battle or anything like that. I mean, we really have much of a chance to do so. So, in today's episode, we are going to be going to several different locations as to where we can use Rock Climb. Because it turns out there's a lot of places to use the Rock Climb in. And already we're starting to glitch out. Alright, good start. Alright, so one of the locations that we can explore with Rock Climb is the area just left of Ecrotique City. Um, more specifically, if we just hurry the hell up. There we go. Alright. Probably gonna have to put on a repel or two. Don't mind all that much. Time for a surprise bio! Yes, uh, when we were originally playing through the game and we went through this route, I completely skipped out on the fact that you can find a Snubble in this route. Now, Snubble, this is before its fairy type introduction, so for the time being, it's gonna be a normal type. Uh, for the time being, it's pretty decent. It's got a really nice chunk of a attack stat being 80 when you first catch it as a snubble. It gets really, really better once you get into a Gramble, however. Getting a nice, big, beefy 120 in attack stat. The only downside of the Gramble is that it's quite slow and its defenses aren't the greatest. Um, but being a normal type, it has a large plethora of great moves you can learn from. Just from, like, remembering some moves, you can learn all the different elemental fangs, aside from Poison Fang. And you get some pretty nice TM moves here and there as well. So, Gramble is definitely a really good choice if you just want a nice, strong, normal-type Pokemon on your team. So, definitely give it a chance. The other Pokemon you can find here is Miltank. Miltank, being the signature Pokemon of Whitney, is quite the bane for a lot of people's existence for one way or another. Uh, Miltank has nice, chunky, beefy defense attack and is actually deceptively fast being at 100 speed. Uh, it can learn some pretty good moves. Defense Curl Rollout being it's one of its signature moves. Uh, its signature moves Milk Drink, which it does where it just restores up to 50% of its current HP, is a very nice move to keep it all tanky and bulky. Now, if you want a nice, bulky, tanky, normal type Pokemon that isn't Snorlax, but is more or less a discount Snorlax to an extent, uh, Milk Tank's definitely the one for you if you want. I mean, this is like post game and whatnot, so these bios are more or less unimportant now, but hey, gotta, keep, gotta get them all, and I believe that's all the bios in the entire series, so. That was well worth it. Um, now where exactly we need to is not actually on the route right next to a critique. It's actually the route right next to this route, Route 39. Because if we go along over here, we can use Rock Climb here. I'm going to get Flare to use Rock Climb. And I do believe that... Is there a hidden item around here as well? Oh, there is. Oh, just over there. Huh. Perfect timing. All right. Rock climb again, and down here we have a lax incense. What exactly does that do again? Uh, let's take a look. Lowers the foe's accuracy. All right, well that's a pretty neat little thing there. And there's a hidden item right here. Here, where's the hidden item? Oh, it's right here. HP up, nice. All right, on to the next location, which I do believe is that cave connecting from Cyanwood City to the Safari Zone, or the new routes at least. Am I really going to be cutting out all that much, so we might as well keep some of it in. All right. Just go ahead and... God, I forgot how laggy Cyanwood City can be. I'm going to enter through here. There's no more wild Pokemon we can find here in the Cliff Edge Gate. However, there is a area of which we can rock climb. I do believe the item is hidden, so we should just be able to... Wait, is it over there? Oh, it is over there. That's interesting. In that rock. A big pearl. Alright, nice. Now then, on to the next location, which I can't really say... For God's sake. I can't really uh, remember where exactly it is. I know that we have explored every... Uh, we actually did explore all the rock climb locations in the previous episode on this route. So, um, where is it that we can go next? Let's see. Actually, the National Park has something for us to explore. Because that is actually one of the locations as to where we can actually get uh, a specific item. Let's go bike our way over there. I haven't used the bike a whole lot in this Let's Play. Most because I've just been running around with the um, speed up. However, in the upper right corner of the National Park, 
Da, da, da. See it just over there. Go ahead through here and up here. Little rock climb spot. This is kind of a kick in the face to that Togetic we can encounter earlier. With a shiny stone. That's it. Alright, on to the next location. Where is that? Alright, so just above Route 46, uh, the location is just above our starting zone. There's a rock climb section right here. Now this again will lead us into the route just next over to Route 46. Oddly enough, <laughs> for some reason. And it should be around here somewhere. And there we are. A PP Max. Alright, and that's that settled in. I think that's every location that we can go to in Johto. No, wait, no, hang on. There's one more spot just over near Cherry Grove City. I almost forgot about that spot. I was like, that was one of the first spots we could have actually seen. Did it glitch out again? Okay, it glitched out again. Alright, I guess we're going to reset again. I've really got to lay off the speed up, but it's just, it's just so much fun to use, really. <laughs> Alright, so we never actually explored the uh, coastline off of Cherry Grove City. Because... Where is that fella? For God's sakes. Is he just down here? He is. This fella. Pokemon I got an item. If it was Mr. Water, I don't need it. Do you need it? Yeah, Mystic Water. Not really a whole lot <laughs> needed now, but uh, yeah. I think that's all we can get from that guy and all the other stuff we can find in the water. So... There we go. Just up this rock. So a hidden item somewhere. There it is. A nugget. All right. Now, I do believe that's every location that we can explore in Johto. Well, actually, just one more location. But I actually just remembered something about the Ruins of Alf. So I'm going to go meet you guys over th there with a certain Pokemon in our party. All right. I hope this is the right location. Otherwise, it's going to be really stupid looking. I think it's this one. It's the only one that hasn't been opened yet. Yes, it is. Okay, so... It says right here, Ho-Oh. If we have ho -Oh in the party... Uh, it'll just open right up. And this one actually has some of the best items, such as a life orb, which is fantastic. Right here is a lepaberry that restores PP upon use. Charcoal, which increases the fire type moves, which are, you know, handy. And a revival herb, which is basically a max revive. Alright, so the life orb is actually one of the better items that I really wanted for Skullcracken earlier, but I couldn't. Um, it boosts the power of moves, but it... It always uh, takes away a bit of uh, HP for some, for, for pretty much any move. Now, I'm going to give that the Skull Kraken just so it could be even more powerful. <laughs> I feel like it's needed, to be perfectly honest, because I don't really see any reason why it wouldn't be needed. All right, and as with that, that is pretty much everything we can do for the time being uh, now. Nope, go back. Um, one more thing that we can explore with, with Rock Climb is just in uh, Mount Mortar, because we never actually explored the full extent of Mount Mortar. Basically because we needed rock climb, because, you know, why would you want to have a cave that you can explore fully right at the start? All right, uh, let's see. You should be able to just make entrance right through here. I'm trying to not speed up as, as often as I should, because I really don't want to keep having to reset the game. All right. I do still have my repel up. How many times have have I been interrupted or like been proven wrong just as I'm about to say it? I've been inter interrupted numerous times by wild Pokemon. There's just there's so many other things. All right, where exactly we need to rock climb? That is a good question. I'm going to bring up a map because I don't want to bother to look around everywhere. Where are we going? Okay, so we're in this room, and we need to explore the entirety of these rooms. Alright, so, I don't know if that goes anywhere specific. Where does this go, actually? Wait, do we need flash for this area? No, we don't. Alright, this is actually in this room. I do believe we got the thing here. We did. Alright, well, that's useless for us. I believe the other side's going to be the exit, so we don't want to go there just yet. However, we do want to go... Wherever the hell we need to go. Uh, we really don't have many options to go, go around in this place. If you don't have rock climb. Thankfully. Uh, do we, but there's another entrance just over... Where the hell do we need to go? Um, wait a minute. Oh, do we need to surf onto the right entrance? Oh no, it's this part. Okay. I forgot six. 
Well, when you put a when you put a light in an entrance, that usually means the exit, which it isn't. We can rock climb here. Where exactly this leads to is another room. And actually an outside portion as well. Because we head down this way. Might be some hidden items about as well, which there is. Got ourselves a revive in there, which is nice. We'll go ahead and exit out of this room. This will put us in a little rock climb area. I don't know why. And we can grab a dubious disc. Now, that is the item that you need to put onto Porygon 2 in order for it to evolve while trading into Porygon Z. So, congratulations, you now have a way of getting Porygon Z. I just hate that they put. Like, these, po these fully evolved Pokemon would be so great to be using through the entirety of the game, but they're not giving you the means to do it until, like, you beat every single gym leader. Up until then, they're kind of useless, unless you just want to do, like, some post-game, like, competitive stuff, which, I mean, you could do. You can absolutely do that, but... Honestly, I think it's better just to go through the game with them at that point. Oh, full incense. What does that do? We're getting, like... No. Great. Select the state. Okay. Full incense. Uh, holder bloated and slow moving. Okay, so that's... Useful if you want to make your Pokemon go last for whatever reason. There, I think there are some moves. Yeah, there are some moves actually that do benefit you going last, such as uh, Payback, I believe it is. Or Av Avalanche is actually pretty good too. Um, yeah, basically just moves that um, are benefited from going last. There's not a whole lot of them, but they are pretty handy. Alright, now we have another Rock Climb section right here. And this should lead us down over here, which I believe we can just go to normally. Okay, yes, that's probably yes, because we can... There should be an item there, and I do believe we've already gone through here. There's a stair segment up there, which actually has an item for us. This is another nugget. We're getting a lot of those. Let me just go ahead and rock climb down here. Loop. All the way over here. Rock climb up here. A lot of looping around. How do we get to that segment up there? Because we have definitely not gone up there yet. That's a good question, actually. Um, oh, actually, no. We need waterfall for that, don't we? And then we actually have means of waterfall, so that's handy. And just all the way down here. Actually, is there a hidden item? Oh, hello. There's an item on the end of this, and this is a protector. A protector doesn't really do anything for Pokemon. It is, however, the main way of evolving Rhydon into Rhyperior while it's holding that and being traded. So there's that. All right, so how do we get to the upper left segment? I do believe that we need actually Waterfall to get up there, and I don't know exactly how exactly... Oh, actually, no. Yeah, I know how, I know how to get up there now. Because so we just exit down through here because we didn't explore this area when we had waterfall because I thought it would be a better just to explore it fully with rock climb and whatnot uh, it's just over here yes so within this area I don't believe there's anything up down that staircase there actually let's take let's take a quick, quick look and see where this leads us because I do believe this just leads us downstairs where is this where, where is this? Oh, this is the very bottom. Um, not now, Arnie. I don't really care. Okay, well, this leads... Okay, I think we explored this area as well. And that should just lead... Upper cave, basement, low cave. Um, I'm going to check I'm gonna check down this area just real quick to make sure that we haven't missed anything. So I'll cut away if we did. All right, well, we more or less... For God's sakes... Alright, well, we more or less did, considering that there's a strength boulder that we can't really get through unless we do it the other way around. And that actually leads up to the area of which we're actually trying to get to, so that makes sense. Now then, since we have Waterfall, we can actually head up this Waterfall right here, which will probably take forever, so we just speed this along. Alright. And just be sure there's nothing else, which there isn't, so we just go ahead and up around over here. In we go. Now, this is a completely new area that we have not explored yet, and I think there's actually a trainer for us to fight here. Are you going to fight us? 
You are gonna fight us. I'm gonna cut this away because this is probably a pathetically easy fight. I'm not Marcus! What if your name was Marcus <laughs> when you're playing this game and <laughs> that's just what you have to name your character? Alright, so yeah, this is a completely new area that we have yet to explore yet, um, I think. There might be some locations that we couldn't have gone to before. But I do believe... Yeah, no, this is a completely new area. We haven't explored this area yet, and I don't think there's any new Pokemon for us to find here. There was a new Pokemon. There was technically a new Pokemon we could find in an earlier route, and I went over that, hopefully. Or I just interrupted myself to go over that, because that was more or less needed. Alright, uh, just go along and head around over here. Should probably keep the dowsing machine up because there might be some hidden items here and there. Specifically right here. Hyper Potion, nice. There's another item right here. Get ourselves a Max Potion. Max Potions are kind of useless. I mean, honestly, no, actually, no, I've used Max Potions probably way more than just regular, like, Hyper Potions and stuff. Max potions are helpful because they just restore your Pokemon's HP to just full. It doesn't have to be like you're like missing one or two HP or like ten or something like that. So they're actually pretty useful. This place is, is very expansive and it's actually kind of tricky to navigate because you gotta jump down here. I don't think there's, is there anything over here. No, there isn't. Um, jump down here. Or did I mess that up? I did mess that up. <laughs> Damn it. What we're actually supposed to do. Go up and around over here. Because there's... There is something here. Okay. Um, We'll actually get that when we're going back down. Because there is a way up and around. So we gotta... Got six. Jump down here. Not down that one. Down and around. Over down to here. Nothing over there. Okay. Go up. Um, not down... There yet. Because that's how we get that item down there. However, I am going to be skipping out on Jet for the moment. Can we actually grab everything on our way back? I don't think we can. Let's go ahead and grab this item right here. Escape rope, that's going to be handy. Um, This place is tricky to navigate. I don't know if we'll be able to do this on one go. We might be able to, but it's kind of tricky. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, we can. We can just go down here, grab this item. So the Dragon Scale, that's the item to be used for uh, evolving Seedra into Kingdra while trading it. This here is an Elixir. All right. And all we need to do is just go on ahead over here. Oh, God, this is a completely new area as well. Well, not technically. This is just a little secret area. More or less. Which may have some more hidden items for us. It, well, it wore off right as it was going to click there. That's neat. Alright. Uh, put on the repel. We're almost done with this place. It's quite... It's really expansive. Like, Mount Mortar is really big. I'm surprised they did not let us explore this fully early on. I, that would have been really cool to do so. But we're just about to be finished here. I should probably go grab that item, but I think I'll just head back there once we're done for the time being in this area. Um. Oh, this is how we get this item down here. Okay. This being an Iron Ball. Iron Ball is, I believe, the item that prevents... It weighs down the Pokemon. Say a Pokemon is either flying type or le or has levitate. Um, it will weigh down the Pokemon and act as though that flying type nor levitate does not exist. I don't know why you would want to. Actually, no, it's actually useful for Fling because uh, if you have Iron Ball equipped, Fling does deal deal deals the most amount of damage if you're using a Iron Ball to Fling, which is a very helpful move. And that's pretty much the only use of Iron Ball, more or less. I don't know. You can also use Trick to um, give Iron Ball to an opposing flying type, I guess. And then you can use, like, Earthquake and stuff or whatever. Max Revive. Alright, is this all there is in this room? Because I do want to see if there's anything else. I do believe that that is everything there is. However, this fella right here actually might be a bit tough for us. And I still have Ho in our party, so we're going to swap out to Wayne real quick. Uh, hello. 
Hey, I am the Karate King. I train alone here in this cave. You battle with me. Hurrah! So yes, the Karate King, the famous Karate King from the Kanzo region. Um, I don't know if that's the same name, actually. Pokemon are only level 34? Really? That's kind of disappointing, to be honest. We have to use Rock Climb to get here. Why is this Pokemon not higher level? This is just pathetic. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to speed through everything. That's really lame, dude. It's really lame. I'm crushed. My training is still not enough, but a loss is a loss, I admit it. To prove that you to be me, I'll give you a rare fighting type Pokemon. You have no room in your party. So yeah, if you're playing, if you're not playing the original games, uh, this is where you would obtain Tyrogue normally. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an open space in my party. I probably should have put somebody away. Probably this Bulbasaur that I still have. Oh no, dude, dude. I don't know why I didn't put anybody away. But yeah, this is where you get Tyrogue. I would go over Tyrogue right now because, you know, this is technically where you first encounter him, but I went over him along with like five other Pokemon uh, earlier in the, uh, like one of the first episodes actually. Back when my encoder was still a piece of shit and didn't work right for whatever reason. Go, oh, please, thank you. All right, so we jump down onto this one. Be careful. Grab this. Aerial Ace, oh my God, finally, holy shit. I was beginning to wonder when I would encounter Aerial Ace because that is such a good move. I've been meaning to teach that to Wayne for so long just because I just want a more powerful blind time move. Uh, Aerial Ace does not miss no matter what. Um, and I do believe Wing Attack's not that all more. Oh, Wing Attack's the same power? Really? Well, Wing Attack can't miss. Well, Wing Attack can miss. Aerial Ace is just cooler, and nobody else can really learn Aerial Ace aside from uh, Stagnox, but he's not going to be using Aerial Ace anymore. Mainly because Wayne's actually a lot more powerful than he was beforehand. Now then, where's the, exactly that item? Okay, it's up there. We're going to have to do another loop around. But aside from that, I think we're going to be done with uh, Mount Mortar. Jump, jump. And once more, right... Where is it? Is it right here, or is it on the ledge above? It's right here. Full restore. All right. So that is Mount Mortar, I hope, fully explored. I don't know if I missed something or not, but yeah, that is Mount Mortar fully explored. Nice. Job well done, if I do say so myself. All right. Now then, we could explore more areas in uh, Kanto that have Rock Climb, and I think we're going to be doing that because we are just mainly just going to be speeding through it. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in all the Rock Climb locations in Kanto. Let's go. Okay, there's a Rock Climb spot here. This is pretty much just a shortcut if you don't want to actually get go through all the grass and just head on to this house, even though it's not really all that worth it. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. On to the next location. Now, Diglett's Cave was kind of expanded out a bit more in Hargul in the uh, Generation 2 games. As such, there are some rock climb locations for us to explore. As such, because why would you bother, you know, leaving this to just normal exploration? Such as this location right here. Which is a PP Max. Very nice. I'm just going to bring up the map to make sure that there's nothing I'm going to be missing. Because I am... I have horrible OCD for the... <laughs> Most, mostly or not, I don't know. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Da, 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 da. There's a rock. Um, I take it that there's a hidden item somewhere up there, which I do believe I am correct on that statement. Yep, there it is. A calcium. Alright, that's going to be useless to us. <laughs> and just on the other side. Yep. There we are. Uh, gonna keep this on just for the time being. It is kind of an annoying noise, but we'll keep it on. Nope, hello. Oh, was that down there? Son of a bitch, that's down there. I didn't even use the... I didn't use the dowsing machine when we were last here? And a rock incense. There's a rock incense? I didn't even know that. Is that just power up... Is that just power up rock type moves? So it does. Alright, that's interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, I'm just gonna go grab that item because I'm gonna go freak out if I don't. And if I'm going to have to go and find it, then you have to watch me do it. Let's go. 
Here. There it is. Max revive. Alright, that's actually really helpful. I didn't get that earlier. Wow. Alright, uh, I do believe that is everything in Diglett's Cave. Alright, on to the next location. Alright, now within Cinnabar Island. Not a whole lot. To, for God's sakes. Uh, just let me do something, please. <laughs> what is that icon? What is the heart? Oh, it's from the Pokemon when you talk to them. Ugh. All right, for real this time. Um, Cinnabar Island. Though it was destroyed, there are still some goodies for us to find. Uh, what exactly we need is... I'm going to look up what exactly there is. There are a lot of rock climbs locations. Also, rock climbs are hard to say for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Mostly going to be just doing this a bunch. Mostly hidden items. I do believe almost all of them are hidden items. There's a star piece there, which is very nice. Um, I don't believe that that item over there. Is, I think this is the only item that's not hidden. And this is a magmarizer. This is the item that you equip onto uh, what's it, magmar to evolve it into magmortar. It's in that rock over there, so we'll go ahead and rock climb onto this one. Repel roar off. That's no big deal. Da -da -da. Iron. All right. I'm gonna climb once more. Should be able to loop fully around, which is what this location is. Actually, no, we can probably just go down there, no problem. Once more over there. There we go. Alright, is that everything on the. Whoop, I clicked out of everything. Uh, is that everything on the island? I do believe it is. We somehow collected all the other items at some point. Alright, and that is, for the time being, Every location that we can use Rock Climb in, I actually found a full list, which isn't actually that big. There's a lot less locations that you can use Rock Climb in. Ooh, wait a minute, did I miss one spot? Hang on, I need to double check this. Hang on, to Olivine City. I do believe I missed a spot in Olivine City. I'm gonna go check real quick. Cause I don't wanna leave this unchecked. If you're wondering why I keep flying to the, like the Pokemon League, that that is the only spot that you can fly to both in Kanto and Johto. So take it you want to go to Kanto, but you don't want to use anything else. You just fly to the Victory Road or Indigo Plateau, and then you can fly to either Kanto or Johto. It's a bit of annoying that you have to do it that way, but that's just how it is. Okay, where is this location in Olivine that has a rock climb? Because I cannot remember where that is. If there even is one. Right, that stupid little water spot way over here. Almost completely forgot about that. Because that was a thing that, that I was annoyed with, I remember. Forgot, really, we just got here. Oh my God, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna just go along with it. For the time being. How do we even, oh for God's sakes, we don't even need, we didn't even need to do that. We could have just gone around the lighthouse. I don't care if we're glitching out crazy. This little spot right down here, I believe it's just a rare candy. Yep, okay, well that was worth it. Alright, so that is our glitchiness glitched. I don't know why it does this. This is not the only emulator that does this, or the only ROM that does this. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fix this before something else breaks, so and that's also gonna be the end of today's episode, so that didn't help. Not at all. Alright, so Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we're going to be doing a little bit more of legend hunting in one way or another. So, tomorrow, or next episode, is actually going to be the event episode. I've managed to figure out how to get cheat codes for those special uh, mystery events. So, we're going to be doing all of them. All the interesting ones that are actually of importance. So, I will see you guys next time.